up everyone, Platino here and welcome back to our episode. Now it's been a while since I did any videos, any talk videos in a while. The last thing I uploaded was the Halloween parade recently by, with my old crew that we did back in the days. And I wanted to upload that because I miss those days, you know. Really fun doing those things back then and honestly my life hasn't been, <laughs> you know, that fun as it used to be back then, you know, when it, came to, when it comes to those big events and everything like that. You know, I really wish I had like a... Uh, crew again like I used to have which I don't have that many friends anymore so it's friends so it's like it's really hard to do these things like there's so many things I want to do for this channel that's why um, I haven't even been uploading recently because there's things I want to do but it's hard to do if I don't really have people to that wants to do these things with you know that works with that I can work with and you know and make some interesting videos I want to do a short film then they get to do that you know and then I was cold now and everything so it's like oh you know it's crazy so there's a lot of things I wanted to do on this channel which I couldn't do, and that's also the reason why it took a while to do and um, do something on this channel. And I've been really busy, been really, really busy with my other channel, my gaming channel. Been really um, active with that one, I should say, uploading games and stuff for how how horror games for Halloween and everything. You know, all of this month. But um, I want to do something for this channel, and I can't do it. You know, I really wish I could find some people to do that stuff with, but I can't, guys. But I have my cards here because one thing I can do is just continue doing my rant videos. And things like that <laughs> my rant topics and whatever and so i figure out. i'm trying to think of what something i want to do it's just i don't know <laughs> it's it's kind of hard to do you know but um we'll figure this out i'll definitely figure this out <laughs> and uh but today's topic is on the sensitive world sensitive world now well pretty much is this country i can say you know and how people you know back then was like way more tough you know the guys it was like more tough and more of men compared to the guys now <laughs> you know it's just they're so sensitive now in this world and and it's like they they all like to complain you know and yeah they all complain everything um let little things bothers them you know they're always sensitive about a lot of things that happen that happens and it's like certain things you can't say anymore because if you say it they're gonna complain about it or they're gonna want to cancel you you know so that i don't like at all right now in this world you know and um, I'm surprised, honestly, it hasn't like, you know, <laughs> touched my channel yet with that because there's a lot of videos back in the days I've done here, on here that was really, you know, controversial. A lot of people got pissed off about it. Like my I Hate Potheads video, which had like tons of views. The ones about by people that I talked bad about had tons of views and some other ones I have, I don't remember. But um, all those videos, you know, like <laughs> it's just a lot of people was upset about everything. And I'm surprised though, you know, no one has try to like you know come at my channel like how they do with a lot of other people in their channels or people on twitter or stuff i guess with me is because you know i'm still a smaller channel this channel is not as big as it used to be because i did take like what a year or two hiatus at the time so i guess i lost all of those you know like subscribers and whatever followers i had and everything that's why my views are not as big as they used to which is fine i would like to build that back up <laughs> but um it's gonna take a while you know because a lot of things i want to do in this channel is just hard to do but um Anyways, yeah, with this this world nowadays and like people are just so sensitive, like it's just crazy. I don't understand that. And it's like certain things you say, you know, they're quick to bitch about it online on social media, mainly on Twitter. <laughs> That's what I see a lot, mainly on Twitter, because I'm I'm on there quite often, active on there, and I see it all the time. You know, especially with the transgender community, you know, they get pissed off at everything. Like right now, with what's going on with Dave Chappelle with his little, you know, stand up he did recently on Netflix, the special he had, and now they're upset about it. You know, when he you know, always makes jokes on, you know, any, like, the gay community, no, all the gay community make jokes on, and, like, um, lesbians or whatever like that, um, sure, I don't watch him, but that's what I'm, I'm reading for what, what other people said that, that knows, that watches his stuff and knows him, you know, they said he always jokes about these things, man, it's just jokes, you know, I mean, he's a comedian, that's what he does, and no one else have problems with it, gay people that have problems with it, or anybody else from the community, but all of a sudden, they want to be upset about it, <laughs> and just, like, bitch about it, and say they go walk on the job, and all that stuff and they're like trying to cancel them which he can be which is good and i'm happy that netflix you know the ceo is there is not he's not not submitting he's not gonna give in to these people and um you know and you know like how, how would you say like turn to one of these like liberal woke type of companies and stuff like that which i'm happy about them i'm really happy and um that's 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 what it should be you know these companies to stand up now and stop you know giving in to these people because it's the right thing to do you know, and the, this community right now is just a mess. Like, it's just crazy. And um, not really the community, I could say. Like, this is country as a whole. It's just, 
it's just it's crazy like um i don't know what else to say like i talked so much about the lgb2 community in a, a lot of <laughs> a lot of my videos back then but now what is it now is why lgbt what q plus whatever nonsense now that i don't know what those things stand for <laughs> but um because i'm really like old school you know and the times i'm coming from you know with lgbt that's what it was you know you guys i used to watch my videos from a couple of years ago five six years ago that's what it was i never knew that they changed it all of a sudden now it's like what's it lgbtq yeah i forgot already <laughs> q plus or whatever and then they have all these different new flags and all it's like it's just crazy I don't, I don't know what to say about that community i don't care because to me i've spoke about it so many times right in this channel and that community is um to me is this it disappoints me a lot and like kind of like a disgrace you know so that's the reason why i don't associate myself with that community you know because when it comes to like other gay guys majority of them that a lot of people know about the ones that make me look bad the ones that you know the more the stereotypical ones you know that lives up to the stereotype is usually the femme ones you know super feminine you know or they just like to sleep around with different guys and stuff like that you know and those are the ones that make me like the ones like me look bad you know and that's that's the reason why I like to I always distance myself from the community, and I always I always talk bad. I always take shots. I have been doing it on this on the channel for years now. Do it on social media on Twitter. I've been doing it recently, and I don't like what's going on. But now the big issue is not even with the community. It's more of just that specific group in the community is a transgender. They're the ones that's more vocal now, you know, and going about. I don't know where this trend be. You know why where this became a, a thing now a trend where, you know, they just so vocal now. They're just trying to push this. You know, push this push this transgender crap on people and I don't like that you know like you know if that's what you want to do fine you know but don't try and push on other people and um you know you want people to respect you but you're not respecting other people you know these are this is his job you know his job is comedian comedian and he has done this plenty of times and I heard that he had a transgender friend and everything but they don't want to hear that I don't know what's the problem like it's, it's crazy you know these things that never was issues before all of a sudden now was an issue this year I feel like this year has been the worst honestly um, ever since we had this new guy in office now, you know, um, it's like, it's just a mess. <laughs> and it's like everything, everyone's so sensitive now. It's like, you can't say certain things. They want to cancel you. They want to do this and that. And it's just so annoying. I don't, I don't know what to say anymore. You know, it's pissing me off. And this world, mainly this country is super, super sensitive when it comes to that. And like, you got to be careful with everything you say. <laughs> but me, you know, I'm always, I'm always blunt, always straightforward. I'm always going to say these things. So I don't care who wants to come after me, you know. Cause I'm not one of these big celebrities, you know, I'm not one of these people who's scared to, you know, be canceled, become a lose my job and the big pay I'm getting. I'm not, I, <laughs> I have none of that stuff. <laughs> so I can say whatever I want, you know, and those people is going to be upset about it. Oh, well, you know, like everyone should have like, their own, you know, freedom of choice to do something and their own opinions on things, you know, and that's how it should be. <laughs> that's how this, that's what this country is founded on, you know, and I don't understand why people like that. Like, it's just, it's crazy. It really pisses me off a lot. You know, seeing this and also hearing this. And like I said, transgender are the ones that's right now being the most vocal in this, you know, they're just, I don't know what to say. It's like, oh my God, it is, it gets me so mad, you know? Like, it's crazy because this was an issue years ago I've been talking about. And now it's more worse now than it was back then when I used to talk about this community. And I don't like that, you know? And another thing I also hate is people who like to dig up other people's past. I see it all the time. I see right, um, right. Well, recently, I should say not right now, but recently with um, with like wrestling related, a lot of these fans are upset because of something you know this person said a while back, um, uh, like what was it, like twenty years ago and stuff like that. And I'm not gonna get in de de into details with that with the wrestling stuff, honestly. <laughs> but um, yeah, it was just about that something happened twenty years ago, and now these fans want to be pissed off about it. I want this person to apologize, or this person not to work with any other wrestling promotions because of it. Like, come on, like, really? Something that happened so long ago, these people want to dig it up just to talk shit about them? Like, I don't understand this world because these are these people, they act like they're saints, like they never did anything wrong in their lives. Nothing at all. Zero. Not zero. Like, they have no skeletons, nothing in the closet. And, you know, they want to talk about the people. You know, make it seem like they're perfect. Like, they never did anything during their teens, you know, or when it was, like, the toddlers or whatever. I mean, like, everyone makes mistakes, you know? That's what that's how it is. It's just the way of life, you know. That's how God makes us. He does no one is perfect. He doesn't make any of us perfect. We all make mistakes, you know. We all are his children at the end of the day. And that's what's bound that's what happens, you know, in life. You just make mistakes <laughs> and you learn from it and you grow from it. You know, so I don't understand that. Like I made mistakes in my life. 
I did bad things in my life, <laughs> you know, so, so, and then we go, and I, and I, you know, grow from it and everything like that, you know, and that's what happened. That's what everyone, everyone around, everyone in this world, you know, that's what they go through when they, as they're growing up, you know, before they become an adult. You go through these stuff. There are some people, yes, even when they're adults, <laughs> they still do stupid shit or like, like, a, like they're still teenagers or whatever like that. But, you know, like. If it's not like something crazy they're doing, like something really, really bad, I don't think you should be, you know, on them about it. Like I understand they probably raped somebody or something like that, or women that, like assault on females. And then, then I understand that, <laughs> you know, but if something happened like so long ago that wasn't even that serious. Why, why dig it up and why talk about it? Like as if you didn't do anything, you know, I don't understand this world. This is, it's just annoying. So there's people like that. Then you got the transgender with their crap right now. And it's like, everyone's just sensitive. Like if you say something to this person, they get up mad. Or they want to report you or you know it's like oh my god it's like what's going on with this world nowadays it's like i don't know i don't know what to say like this 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 world is a mess it's a really is a mess and every time i think about it i talk to uh, my my family my mom and like friends about it i was like damn i always tell them like i we well we all say like we really miss the old days because that was the best times of growing up now this new generation is this new kid that's growing up. There's, it sucks. <laughs> you guys are not gonna have the good life or enjoy it like how we did, but you know, growing up, you know, and that that's this this is definitely not the the time. <laughs> this is definitely not the time to enjoy it. join your your young life, your teenage life. I would say like their teen years because it's not it sucks. You know, it's not the same as it used to be. You know, like the early two thousands or in the nineties and stuff like that. Those are the good times and everything. You know. And I really miss those days. That, that's where I had most of my fun, especially the early 2000s. It was great, you know, high school and everything. Fun, you know, <laughs> when it came with that, when it came to the games was great. The music had all the all the good reggaeton songs and all that stuff, you know, bachata, everything, all that good stuff. Like, no, you don't get that stuff anymore. <laughs> I don't even know if, I mean, reggaeton is still a thing, but it's not as big anymore. And the only people you hear about is Bad Bunny and Aniwell and all these people. Like, that's, that's just garbage, you know? That's garbage music. It's not like the same as it used to be back then. So when it comes to music, games, everything changed. <laughs> it's not the same anymore, you know? And the old days is where it's at. And yeah, it's just crazy with this world now. It's super sensitive, you know? And I don't want to go off topic on that. So <laughs> I just want to stick on this topic. But, um, and that's pretty much it what I have to talk about on my um, notes. Just about that. So let me know what you guys think. I'm going to try my best to really do more of this channel again. If anything, I'll just have to stick to doing more of these videos, talk videos, rants, or like advice and everything like I used to do back then because those are more easy to do and more to keep up with. But I was really trying to do something different. Like I wanted to do like something interesting for Halloween, but I don't think I'll be able to do it. I do want to work on doing um like more of my music, like music videos and stuff like that, dance. I want to do more of that, but don't really have much of the privacy in this house. So it sucks when you don't live alone, you know? But um, I'll see what I can do. But in the meantime, I guess I'll have to keep doing this. Just to keep the channel, you know, going, flowing. You know, keep it active. Keep doing things on here. And not just be focused only on my gaming channel, you know. But like I said, if you guys are interested in gaming, go check that out too. But yeah, so let me know what you guys think. In the comment section below. And as always, like, comment, all that good stuff. And it's been Platino, and I'll see you all later. Take care.